Hi, welcome to Smoky Edge and the Eterics and Collectibles. Today I have a 1957 pink clock radio made by Westinghouse. It's a model H572T4. It's been taken apart and fully restored, new capacitors. The clock's been oiled and everything's been gone over to make sure it works to its optimum levels. It's been running for two days, clock keeps perfect time. and. <clears throat> right now, I will set it up so that the alarm will turn on the radio. And we'll spin the time around. Okay, I flip from automatic to on. And we get the weight. Because it's a tube radio. I guess back in these days, he always had to set the alarm like two minutes before he wanted to wake up. Okay, I'm down the basement with a fluorescent light, so. The mind control works nice. So it's full range. Okay. Now, I'll have to turn it around for this, but you'll be able to hear the alarm. Well, I guess I do. Oh, there it is. Nice and loud. So, and anyway, it's really a nice looking radio. It's got a couple little flaws. It's got a couple little scuffs, very minor on the top. I mean, I don't think you can see them in this video. There's one right here. And it looks, when I took it apart, they put the wrong screw in the wrong place. There's one little crack right here in the face where they put one of the wrong chassis screws <clears throat> in the wrong hole for the clock holding in. So they cracked the front a little bit. That looks like it's been there forever. The filter capacitor was from 63, so it's probably been there for 40 years. So, anyway, yeah, because they did change the filter capacitor back in 63, so I guess it only lasted six years. So, beyond that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's in very good shape. Spin it around. There are pictures on the listing. And I had to change the, inter the interlock cord. The other one was shot. So you can't get the exact matchups anymore, so... I've been using these and they work quite well. They don't lock into the back like the old ones do, but it still gives you the same connections that the original one did. So at least you have the same connection rather than just trying to put in a cord and shoving it out the back of the radio casing. <clears throat> so like I said, this is a 1957 Westinghouse pink clock radio. And um, I hope you enjoyed looking at this video and I hope you enjoyed it enough that you'll buy it. Thank you, and again, thank you for looking at Smoky Edge, Neoterics, and Collectibles.